edition of the Ramayana Biodiversity series we bring you details about the forests mentioned in the Ramayana. The Ramayana has an entire chapter, a kanda, dedicated to the forest by the name Aranya Kanda. The word Vanuvas means living in the forest. The entire journey of Lord Rama from Ayodhya to Lanka took place in the forest. Chitrakut Forest Ram, Lakshman, Sita cross the river Ganga in the boat of Guha. They meet Rishi Bharadwaja. Rama is advised to go to Chitrakut Forest by Rishi Bharadwaja. Chitrakut Forest located near the banks of the Mandakini River. It served as a place where Lord Rama, Sita and Lakshmana resided during their exile. The Vanvasis find solace in the natural beauty of Chitrakut Forest. Bharat, Rama's brother, visit Chitrakut and request Ram, Lakshmana, Sita to return to Ayodhya. Chitrakut is a tropical deciduous type of forest. Dandakaranya Forest Dandakaranya a vast forest in the Ramayana. Here Rama, Sita and Lakshmana spent a maximum period of exile. Located in present-day central and southern India, this thick forest is home to diverse plant species and wild animals. Pampa Lake, a location within the Dandakaranya forest where Shabari, a devotee of Rama, offers fruits to Lord Rama. Janasthana a part of the Dandakaranya forest where Ravana's sister Surpanakha encounters Rama and Lakshmana leading to significant events in the epic. Dandakaranya is a tropical deciduous type of forest. Panchavati Forest This is where the dramatic kidnap of Sita by Ravana takes place. This forest is in Godavari river basin. Rama, Sita and Lakshmana building their eco-friendly home during their forest exile. Ravana fights with Jatayu, the vulture. Golden deer attracts Sita. Panchavati is a moist deciduous forest. Kishkinda Forest Kishkinda was the forest kingdom of the Vanaras in the Ramayana. Here Rama meets Hanuman and forms an alliance with Sugriva. Kishkinda region is around the Tungabhadra river and Hampi. Seshachalam forest, home to Chandan and Rakta Chandan and many other species of trees are part of Kishkinda. Kishkinda is a dry and moist deciduous type of forest. Dronagiri forest, this are Himalayan forest, Hanuman flies there in the search of the Sanjeevani hub when Lakshmana is mortally wounded in the battle. Unable to identify the hub, Hanuman brings the whole mountain from Dronagiri forest. Dronagiri is an alpine type of forest. Naimisha Forest The Naimisha Aranya, also known as the Naimisha Forest, is located along the banks of the Gomti River in present-day Uttar Pradesh. Uttarakanda of Ramayana mentions that Love and Kush, the twin sons of Ram, narrated the story of Rama in the Naimisha Aranya. This happened during the time of Ashwamedha Yagna. Rama unites with Sita and meet his sons Love and Kush in Naimisha forest. Ashok Vatika Forest Sita stayed in Ashokavana or Ashoka Vatika during her captivity in Lanka. Hanuman, who comes searching for Sita, meets her under the Ashoka tree. Ashokavana is an evergreen type of forest. Lanka Forest Lanka forest witnessed both Hanuman's search and the final battle against Ravana. There is a story about the abundance of Ayurvedic herbs and alpine Himalayan plant species in the forest of Sri Lanka. It is believed that this got scattered whilst Hanuman was in flight with the mountain in his palm. Do you know about Green Ramayana Park? In Haldwani, Uttarakhand, there is a park which features the forest and trees mentioned in the Ramayana. Hope oh, you have watched all the videos in the playlist 
Ramayana Biodiversity. The links to all the videos are given below in the description. Do you know of any other animals, birds, trees in the Ramayana? Yes, please write down in the comments below.